Hi, I'm Pat Boone, survivalist, adventurer, and AWOL from the British Army since 1997. Shh. You've been lost in the woods for three days. You've forgotten to pack your sandwiches and your tinned drink. You've eaten your map. There is ectoplasm in your rucksack. And to top it all off, for breakfast, you've had to eat your own organs. This isn't survival. This is bloody awful. Shut up. Hello, I'm Pat Boone, and this is Pat Boone's World of Woodland Survival. Nourishment is necessary to stave off a slow death. For example, knowing how to set an animal trap using materials found entirely around the woods. Now that the trap is set, all we need to do is find some bait. You can use almost anything. Like... Berries? At the moment, it isn't berry season, so I'm going to have to use this copy of Razzle that I found in a tramp's den. Now all that remains is to watch and wait, but we'll come back to this a little bit later. Water! The human body can survive up to three weeks without food, but only three minutes without water. And in the woodland, water is hard to come by. Here's a great tip for obtaining that life-sustaining drink. You'll need between three and five hundred plastic bags. Tie each to one branch of a nearby tree or bush. Using a half-shank triple wins a knot. Easy peasy. This technique depends on the scientific proceeds known by scientists as transpiration. This has nothing to do with the Ripple Valley bus service depicted here. Remember to make sure that the exposed part of the bag surface is facing east, in honour of the sun god Ra. Now then, it should have been long enough for the reaction to take place. Just take this bag off. We've produced a damn fine mini bar. Drink, sir? Yeah, just a, uh, just a small cherry brandy thing. Now to have a look at the trap that I set earlier. Now, it can take a very long time to make a catch, so as a hunter, you have to be prepared to play the waiting game. Now, in order to combat boredom and stave off insanity, I've brought Boggle. Ah! Oh, bollocks. I think we've caught something. Better be careful, it could be live. Take! Now, I'd better be certain that it's okay to eat. It's still frozen in the middle. It's gonna need another 10 to 15 minutes defrosting time. Ooh. So, with the right tools and knowledge of the woodland, you too can avoid dying alone, cold and miserable, in a pool of your own organs. Thanks, Mother Nature. Any time, perhaps. <laughs>